Now today we're going to talk about how to create new site templates for um, cloud-hosted uh, SharePoint sites. So this is an on-premise uh, site that you're looking on-premise on hosted site that you're looking at right now. So when I click site actions, create new site, you see a variety of templates here that you can create new sites from. When you're um, the, the way that this particular feature is implemented is that those sites are actually provisioned uh, through the uh, XML definition files deployed directly on a server. So obviously, when we're dealing with a hosted environment such as Office 365 or other hosted environments, you can you can drop um, XML definition on a server to define your site templates. But there is a workaround um, how to define those site templates in hosted environments, and that's what we're going to take a look at today. So I'm going to start by creating a new uh, Visual Studio project, project and uh, I'm just going to specify the intranet.contoso.com, which is this site, as my home site, and click Finish. So I'm going to also add uh, the new element, um, new element to the uh, my solution structure, and that's going to be of a type empty element, and I'm going to call it About Us. About us is going to be the template name that I want to create in my hosted site. Now I'm going to have uh, the feature automatically provisioned as well as element as well as elements XML. One other thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to add another um, XML file that will define what's going to go inside my template, and that's going to be uh, uh, that XML file is going to be called Onet XML. And I'm going to add it to the elements file. Now, important thing to do here is uh, change the deployment type in the properties window on that particular file. Um, in fact, I didn't spell it right, so I'm going to call it onet.xml. Um, and I'm going to change the deployment type to element file. Um, because if you don't change that, the file is just not going to get provisioned. Uh, to the site and this whole template is going to fail. So next I'm going to do what I'm going to do, I'm going to populate the content of this file. So I have, I have a shortcut here, which I'm going to use. And in here basically I define my template. Um, I define the uh, the base template, the, the template ID and as well as name. STS is a team site uh, of, from which the template is going to inherit from. Um, and as well as uh, some of the additional parameters such as a category name and locale. So for if, if you haven't checked it already under your SharePoint root template site templates you'll see a variety of different templates that are available and STS is one of them a team site template is one of them. Now you can inherit from any of those templates like wikis and etc but make sure that those templates are installed on your server because if you're if you're using a hosted environment that's just foundation and it doesn't have any of those templates installed on it, you're just going to, that particular new template, the sandbox template, is just going to fail. So make sure you put a valid template names. Now, next one is the actual um, template definition file. And I'm also going to use my shortcut here and paste, copy and paste the definition. Um, so in here, I just create a configuration and, and, and basically define features that are going to be used on that template. And features are actually uh, the stuff that will define what that template is going to look like. Uh, again, you have to make sure now you can only define web features, not site features, because this is a web template that we're creating. And also make sure that the web features that you're defining are installed on the site. And to make sure that you know which ones are installed, um, uh, you can go to 14, template, and then features. And in here you'll see the list of features that are available. Now the most important feature for new um, for new newly provisioned site templates is obviously the pages feature, right? The feature that'll provision pages to the site. Um, so naturally, we're going to need it, and we need we're going to need to add a module to our uh, solution file here. Uh, to our solution, um, we we could just add an empty module here, uh, but that module is going to have to provision features. So I'm just going to call uh, call it about us pages. All right, and that's just an empty module uh, that uh, you would have to add the uh, the page to to provision actual instance of the page to the site, and you can obviously add more uh, more features as as you wish uh, that can just be hanging off right of the solution or can be installed on the base uh, templates, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just make sure that you get the proper ID in this case. Uh, this ID can be retrieved from the manifest of the feature. And that's the ID. So if you have more than one ID, 
make sure that you put the, the right ID into the, um, into the template. So obviously this is a little bit of redundant because uh, this feature will be already activated as part of the solution, but this is how you can define one or more features to provision things like lists and et cetera, et cetera.